it gives me great pleasure to welcome everyone here today for this historic moment in our architectural history as well as our intellectual history. This is an important milestone in our library project and um, we have a model but I'm looking forward to um, letting Maya explain to you what the new Nielsen will look like both through her model and through drawings. And without further ado, please join me in welcoming Maya Lin. Um, thank you, President McCartney. It is, I have had so much fun working with everyone at Smith. Thank you so much for selecting me. Um, I'm quite excited, so I'm just gonna jump in. As it stands now, this is our site plan. The connection, there is access, handicapped accessible access from Sealy Lawn, opening up a, a new the entry to Burton Lawn, an entry from the South Lawn entering into the South Jewel Box, an entry from a terraced outdoor classroom amphitheater into the North Jewel. So again, the building is beginning to pull you in as well as create outdoor seating areas throughout. And again, for me, architecturally, the space between the buildings is as important as the building itself. Um, you'll notice we're relying on ovals heavily, so um, that goes, there's pointer. So we have ovals here and ovals all over. Um, so those are, are spaces that harken back to the original Olmsted plan. It's amazing, as time goes on, Olmsted becomes ever more visionary. The way he recognized landscape as an, as, a, as an extension of environment is so completely inspirational for, for me still. From the Sealy elevation, the east elevation, note the mullions, that we keep the historic mullions, we're talking more about the old, we're adding back in these sort of plinth layered pillow boxes that allow you protected entry in from the south elevation, from Green Street. Now this is the south jewel box, it houses the special collections, whereas the North Jewel box is much more the browsing room, the reading room, the media library, the more socialized spaces are on the north side, which is the closest to the student center. And that's the one we're thinking will be open 24 seven, and you can look down into it, <laughs> and the light will glow. So you begin to see that even within the building itself, there's a quieter portion, and you really see the jewel within, and then the more active, engaged, hub of the library. 